Hey guys, today's project is this Husky air compressor, an air scout. This actually lives at our beach house and last time I was there I went to use it and it didn't work. So that's its, that's its information. Um, pretty sure they don't make this anymore, but for what it does, it, it did fine. So it runs, but the gauge would leave you to believe it wasn't making any air, and the output would lead you to believe that too, but it's making air. So something's going on with the regulator. The only part you can buy online is the safety valve. I don't see any other parts available. So we're gonna tear into this and see if we can fix that regulator or replace it with something else. I've already taken a good bit of it apart and I did it there. The problem was these screws are way in there and I did not have a screwdriver there that was long enough to get to them. Let's see if this will get there. Yeah, it will. All right, we're gonna pop these screws out of here and figure out how this thing comes apart couple screws up here at handle level that I did not get already either. All the rest of them I took out of there thinking I could get it apart. So I'm hoping I left all the rest of the screws there. I put them in a container but I can't find the container so I'm thinking I left it which is fine because that's where this is going back to. If it goes back anywhere so this thing should peel apart. Huh, there are some screws. There's a set of screws down here behind this wheel, so I'll have to figure out how to get that off to be able to get to the screw. There we go. Looks like we'll have to do some cleaning there. So not a whole lot to this little tank compressor. <laughs> okay, it looks like the compressor's separate from the regulator, etc. That's good. So we'll get this cover off, see what's in there. Better get those screws, they'll come shooting out of there and I'll be able to find them. Haha, -ha. so there we go. Looks like we have a pressure switch. It's like one big manifold with the relief valve, regulator, the gauge, and the outlet. So I don't know if this knob is just stripped and I can do something with that or if it's something internal because there's no easy way to replace this regulator at this point so let's see if this knob will come off here yeah so it's, it must be pressed on So 
this is a 29 millimeter wrench Let's see if it'll pull apart Imagine there's a spring in here. I'm going to cut this knob off and see if we can figure out what the rest of the story is here. So I cut the knob off, and I don't know if you can see this. Apparently, the threads are gone in there, so it would allow allow you to turn it down but then the air pressure would push it back open and that's part of the thread that pulled out of there so no fixing this thing well I mean I guess anything's fixable but I'm not going to be able to fix this so let's go look at what we can do to improvise here So this is all made into one piece. Pressure from the tank goes to a pressure switch, which turns the compressor off and on. And it's grounded several places. Now well, they're using this as a ground. So the power cord ground comes in, grounds to this manifold, and then this ground for the manifold goes down to the motor. So kind of interesting so this all looks like pipe thread so we should be able to rig something up to go in here let me get this thing apart and see what I need for pipe and fittings etc I can go ahead and unplug this pressure switch if it'll unplug Okay, so here's what we're going to try to fix this whole debacle. I think I have enough pieces here to essentially rebuild this manifold, and I found a screwed up regulator that I had taken from the junk pile at work. So we should be able, it's a lot larger, but I think with all this stuff, I can fit this all together and we can make this run. So I'm going to start by essentially right here our barb pop off valve. But I'm, I didn't account for that problem. So this is where the pressure switch goes. So what we're going to attempt to do is we're going to attempt to drill and tap a hole in this T, make kind of a sideways cross, and see if this will thread into that. So on my tap and die set here, I have a eighth inch NPT 27 and a quarter inch or 8th 28 tap which is BSP this thing is obviously being made overseas don't know what the thread's going to be so let's see here so I got I don't know if this will show up I got the thread pitch gauge and checked 28 and it doesn't drop in I don't know if this is making it better or worse but So 28 does not mesh, 27 does, so it's plain old uh, 27 NPT, which takes a, according to the chart, takes a 2164 drill bit, and I'll bet you that thing has never been used. So there's a little raised stamp, I'm going to try to file that off so we have a good place to start drilling. Went ahead and took that fitting out. pretty good. Start with a smaller pilot bit.
not real thick. We'll see how that works out. And actually, this being cast iron, I probably didn't even need to use any oil. I'm going to go blow that out, get any shavings out, and then we'll continue on. I have this sort of temporary in there. So it still works. I'm assuming it'll shut off here in a second once it fills up. Okay, it shut off. Pressure gauge shows zero, so let's give it some, well, let's make sure it has air. Let's turn it off for safety purposes. Let's turn this regulator up, there are 40 pounds. All right, so now we work again. So now we will work on getting this thing to fit. So that'll go in there that way. And by looking at the front side, the holes actually line up pretty well. I think to make this regulator fit, I may have to hog this out a little bit. And then I'm not sure this is going to come out in the right spot, so we have to hack away a little plastic. Let me lose the little uh, decal. Let me clearance this a little bit. Too bad the uh, hole over here for the air outlet for whatever reason doesn't line up so we'll work on that and maybe clearance these a little more try to get this out a little more we'll bring it back when we have hack some more of this out I'm gonna hack some of this out to let that regulator go a little further through the front it'll make all this work a little better So off, we'll square that up. That should work much better than this piece. It should kind of go in there and kind of hold it in. We may have to cut some out of that. Okay, that thing fits in there pretty well now. Go ahead and hook this stuff up. I have the air hose hooked on with a hose clamp. I'll hook the pressure switch up. And then the only thing left is this ground that was originally grounded to that manifold. Don't really know why. In this version of its life, it's not going to be. So we'll and strip that back. That's gone for the most part. I'm sure I'm forgetting something. It's pretty good. Okay, back together. I mean, it's not the prettiest thing, but that's pretty solid. All right, so when we get back to the beach, we'll find the rest of the screws and get this thing back together. So the original manifold 
had ground wires attached to it. Essentially the ground from the plug ran through this and grounded the motor. I didn't do that originally, but the more I thought about it, the reasoning for that is there's 110 volts applied to this pressure switch, which starts and stops the compressor. So I guess that has the potential to fail and make 110 volts on the manifold with no ground attached to it. This thing could have 110 volts on it. You could grab it and get lit up. So I welded a bolt to this fitting and then spliced in another wire so now the ground goes to both places so this thing will be safe if this pressure switch were to fail thanks for watching subscribing we'll see you soon